Are you wanting a set of wheels with custom offsets and don't want to spend a ton of money on a custom offset tool? Well, today I'm going to show you how you can get a great fitment for your tire and wheel combo with spending less than $10 and only 30 minutes of time. And I'm going to show you that right now. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, welcome back. My name's Aaron, and this is A-Rob's Garage. If you like this video, stop that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. This really motivates me to create more content and bring more videos to you. If you're looking to change the stance and the aggressiveness of your ride, then a set of custom wheels is a great way to do that. There is nothing more annoying than seeing someone who slapped on some random set of wheels on their car, the wheels stick out past the fenders, and there's about a six inch gap between the tire and the fender. The person that owns this car is named Bobby. Don't be like Bobby. Oops. First, we'll measure the diameter of the wheel stud. There, we get 0.488, or roughly half an inch. Next, we'll measure the diameter of the center section, ensuring that we get all the way across from center to center. See that we have roughly a center diameter of three inches. I'm starting here by marking the center of the wheel hub. Then I will measure out from the center of the hub to represent a 17, 18, and 19 inch rim. And then I continue on by uh, marking out a 26, 27, and 28 inch tire. Next I'm placing a bolt pattern that is uh, linked in the description and uh, marked uh, it for a 4.5 by 5 uh, wheel bolt pattern. Now I am drilling out using a pilot hole um, all of the marks that I have made. Here I am using a 9 16 um, bit to cut my uh, to cut my wheel studs. This is slightly larger than the half that's required. It just makes ensure that uh, the uh, this tool will go on smoothly. For the upper portion, I ended up using a 3 8 inch bit because I will be using 3 8 inch dowels. Uh, that'll be going through those holes both further to mark the wheels uh, and the tires. Here I used a 3 inch hole saw to cut my the center of the wheel hub. Now I measured and I'm cutting a total of nine different dowels. The dowels will start at 13 inches and in half inch increments go all the way down to eight inches. This will be a variety of different size or different widths for both the rear and the front tires.
Now, the whole idea behind this tool is that this portion um, with your bolt pattern will mount to your wheel hub. And then this, these, these two uh, act as your uh, tire at your widest point and your tallest point. And this acts as your rim both at the, uh, at the widest point uh, and the tallest point as well. Now specifically with the rim dowel, uh, this one is a 12 inch rim dowel. And so uh, this would actually represent an 11 inch rim because the outer lip when you're measuring wheels does not count. You measure the inner lip or the inner flange. And so remember that as you're using these dowels that the actual measurement of the dowel is an inch longer than the actual measurement uh, of your rim. So as this rotates around on your wheel hub, it'll identify areas of interference. You can move this in and out incrementally uh, and continue to rotate to check for interferences. And if the inter in interferences, if the interferences continue uh, with that current dowel, uh, then you can uh, go to the next size smaller. And the idea is that you continue to do this until the interferences are no more. Now I'm gonna take two lug nuts and I'm gonna install um, our tool. Now first, I'm gonna start with the largest belt, the longest belt possible, which is 13 inches. And I'm gonna start in the tire hole. And my goal is, I would like to run 335s. So 335s is equal to uh, uh, 335 millimeters, which is a little over 13 inches. Now I'm starting off by sticking it in the uh, 27, uh, the 27 inch tire hole. Uh, which is too large. I really wanted to get closer to a 26 and this again is uh, the top most portion of the tire and all tires are cupped so this is an extreme situation but I, I still wanted to make sure I had plenty of room. So here you can see I am uh, going down to the 26 uh, inch tire hole and uh, just fitting the dowels here and I'll just continue to do this until I have uh, about a about a quarter to a half inch clearance um, everywhere throughout the wheel well to allow for excess movement. Now here I'm marking the back face of the tool, as the back face of the tool also represents the back face of the wheel hub. So now that I've found that my 12 and a half inch dowel is the largest dowel that will fit in my wheel well, um, I know that 12 inches, or 12 and a half inches, is roughly uh, 315. So the fattest tire I can fit in my wheel well is 315 millimeters. Now for the tire size, I want my tires to, to stick out just a little bit further than my wheel. And so what I'm going to use is a 12 inch, I don't know which way, is, <laughs> which way it reads. Anyway, I'm gonna use a 12 inch dowel. So when I put, uh, put them up here, I'm gonna have about a quarter inch of gap here uh, from end to end between my 12 and a half and my, and my 12. And so this 12 inch is gonna represent the total width of my rim, which means if I subtract an inch, because the actual width of a rim is an inch wider than the rim size, uh, this 12 inch dowel is gonna represent my 11 inch rim. Now here is my 12 and a half inch dowel which represents my tire size or my tire width. And here you can see I have marked my uh, backspacing uh, piece. Now I need to transfer this to the wheel. So now I'm going to take my 12 inch uh, dowel which represents my 11 inch rim and now I'm going to try and, and now I'm going to calculate the backspacing in order to do this I need to because this is 12 and a half and I'm putting a, an, a 12 inch uh, rod there I need this to be exactly in the center and so being that I have a half inch difference I'm gonna mark a quarter inch on the end so that quarter inch will split that half inch, and then I will get the my my rim dowel 
exactly in line and with the center of the wheel dowel. Now I'm going to rotate this until you can see the backspacing mark, which is right here. And I'm going to transfer this, transfer the backspacing mark onto my wheel, um, onto my wheel dowel. Now, now to check your backspacing, being that this is the rear or the back of the wheel, we can check our backspacing. So for this in particular dowel or this wheel, my backspacing is going to go from the very rear flange all the way um, to that backspacing mark, mark, which is four and an eighth. So my backspacing for this wheel will be four and an eighth. So the overall rim size will be an 18, because I want an 18 inch wheel, by 11 with a four and a half inch back, or as you were, with a four and an eighth inch backspace. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to click that like button and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more like this. All right, see you next time.